Amid surging coronavirus cases and looming economic disaster for families and businesses this winter, Senator Joe Manchin DW, VA, who is part of a bipartisan group of lawmakers that last week introduced a $908 billion stimulus framework, said in a Sunday interview with NBC's Meet the Press that, a deal must come together, and that lawmakers, don't have a choice, but to pass the new legislation quickly. The $908 billion investment we make into the citizens of this country, trying to keep this economy from collapsing, could be more important than $2 trillion would be in February, or, March if we do nothing," Senator Manchin said. Despite gaining significant momentum last week, the bipartisan plan won't make it through Congress unless Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell R. Key, who has refused to support it and is pushing his own smaller plan instead, is willing to bring it to the floor for a vote. I just hope Sen McConnell will let us bring this matter to the floor as quickly as possible," Senator Durbin said Sunday. We have a lot of work to do and just a few days to do it. Durbin also added that lawmakers are still finalizing, a few remaining issues, in the framework. Congress will return to work on Monday with just five days to prevent a government shutdown on December 11. Lawmakers can pass an omnibus spending bill with an entirely new budget for the 2021 fiscal year, or they can pass a short-term continuing resolution to fund the government at existing levels until the spring. Senate Appropriations Committee Chairman Richard Shelby R. Alla, has indicated that a continuing resolution is more likely. Biden, $1,200 checks, may still be in play, in stimulus deal, Forbes Senate Republicans appear open to $908 billion stimulus plan despite McConnell opposition, Forbes McConnell says stimulus compromise is within reach, as Schumer criticizes partisan posturing, Forbes in big concession, Democratic leaders support $908 billion bipartisan stimulus plan, Forbes, 